we're going to spend a little time focusing on manganese. It's a really important nutrient and it's one that we've been trying to build levels of on our farm and many of our soils. Why is manganese so important? Well, let's look at the functions that it performs in the plant first of all. Well, I would start with this. Manganese is often called the element of life. It is super important inside the plant in many of the different functions, including chlorophyll production, lignin building, and basically by lignin building that means your stalk and having less lodging. It's important for disease prevention, for pollen, for kernel weight, so many different things that manganese does. You have to have it in your plants if you want yield at all, and you have to have good levels in your plants if you want top yields. Here's the challenge that we've been facing with manganese. There's, there's some situations that we've got on our farm that are limiting our uptake of manganese. One would be cold soils. When you think about South Dakota, I mean, it does have South in the name, but South of what? Well, not South of enough, apparently, because our soils are too cold in the spring to have really good manganese availability. So we see many farmers that are aware of this issue putting a manganese chelate out there at planting time, trying to feed the plant for the early portion of the year. The other challenge that we have with manganese is soil pHs. If your soil pH is above a 6.5, we see more of a challenge getting manganese into the plant. So lower soil pHs, generally better availability, higher pHs, it's much more of a challenge. So with manganese, it is an important micronutrient, and I just want to make sure you're not confusing this with magnesium. That's the common thing that we hear. Hey, are you talking about magnesium? No, we are not talking about magnesium. This is manganese. And one of the things that we do see manganese being important for that you may never have heard before is reducing white mold incidence in your crop. So if you have good manganese levels in the crop, it just seems to be a lot more tolerant. We first identified this when we had a farmer we were working with split a field where he put manganese on, he had no white mold. Where he did not put the manganese on, that's where all the white mold was. Well, we started doing a little research on that, and yes, there is some published data out there showing that good manganese levels means less white mold. Now, in order to get that good manganese level, could be a couple of things. Darren mentioned already soil pH, certainly soil heat. Those things absolutely can make a difference. But the other big thing is maybe you just need to apply more manganese. As we travel around the world, we run into farmers all over the place that say, micronutrients are improving my drought tolerance in my crop. And I don't know if there's necessarily a drought tolerance aspect here as much as just feeding the crop with what it needs. Because no matter what crop you're growing, the way that it's pulling nutrients into the plant is by sucking in water through the root system. As that plant needs nutrients and it's not finding them, it just sucks in more water and more water and more water. And if a micronutrient like manganese is the problem in your field and that's what's short, you're going to have more issues with running out of water too early. Darren mentioned already the use of manganese chelate at planting. You can certainly do that either by itself or in a blend with other nutrients. There are a lot of different micro blends out there that people are using with the planter and that's just fine. The other thing that I would ask you to consider is if you're really short on manganese, okay, a lot of times we're looking for 20 to 40 parts per million of manganese in a Midwest Labs DTPA test, for example. Okay, let's say that I'm at five and I've got my pH down to 6.3, so manganese should be pretty available, should show up in the soil test if it's there. That probably tells me I just flat out don't have enough manganese. So one of the things we've done and I'd encourage you to check out is manganese sulfate. Pretty inexpensive way to get lots of manganese out there all in one shot. Now, anytime you're gonna put big rates of a micronutrient on, we would encourage you to at least consider broadcasting that, especially if you own the ground, and here's the reason why. If you overload a plant with any micronutrient, so I want you to just think about this. If your plant needs half a pound for the entire year, and you put out a pound, now you've got double what the plant needs in one shot. Well, how about if you put out five pounds or 10 pounds, which you may consider doing if you're super short. If you ban that and all of a sudden your plant takes in a 20x dose, what do you think is going to happen? So just be really careful. If you want to build your soil and you're doing it in a band, don't get much more carried away than maybe a double rate or something like that. Uh, if it's broadcast, we're just fine with running some bigger rates, but just be careful with any of these micronutrients and what kind of rate you're using. All right, Brian, let's tackle that last issue, Roundup. 
but I put Roundup on my crop run short of manganese. When I add manganese, I'm getting more yield. You know what, more times than not, when I've talked to farmers that have found this to be the case on their farm, I say, well, let me see your plant tissue tests and let me see your soil tests. And what we find is we were short of manganese to begin with. Now, I don't know that it's necessarily even the fault of Roundup that we've just run out of manganese because we haven't put on as much as we've taken off. I will just tell you that this talk about Roundup hurting manganese is absolute nonsense. We've gone out two years in a row putting a 100x rate of Roundup on, 100 times on the soil. So if a normal rate of Roundup would tie up the manganese, surely 100 times, two years in a row, ought to tie up the manganese. You know what our results were? no change in the plants in terms of how much manganese was there. So I don't think that's it at all. I just think it's simply, we're pulling a lot of manganese out with our good crops that we're raising, and when was the last time you applied manganese? So at least consider manganese application for your farm. No, it's not leachable, I mean, in a big way or anything like that. It's nothing you have to worry about, like nitrogen, where you have to apply it every single year, but you gotta have a decent level in your soil so you have good availability and good nutrient level overall in your plant. Well, I don't know if it makes such a big difference about what the nutrient balance in the soil is for our weed of the week. It could still be a problem. We'll show you how to stop it coming up next.